Wow, what a great chord progression. I could play that forever and ever. Let me know in the comments if you recognize what that song was. That's right, Learning to Fly. It was a song from 1991 written by Tom Petty and Jeff Lynne, and it comes from the album Into the Great Wide Open. This is a really cool song for guitarists, especially beginner guitarists. And there are three reasons, apart from the obvious that it's a cool song. But the first reason is that it only has four chords, only four chords, and I'll let you know what they are in just a moment. The second thing is that the chord progression is exactly the same all the way through the song. And the third thing, the strumming pattern is exactly the same as well. Doesn't get any better for beginner guitarists, does it? As I mentioned a moment ago, there are four chords only, and those four chords come from the key of C major. And you're gonna be using the three major chords from the key of C, which are C, F, and G. And you're also gonna be using one minor, and that's gonna be A minor. Check the link in the description if you need any extra help for those chords, but try this lesson out first. The song, which is in 4-4 four, four time, uses the chords in this order. F, C, A minor, and G. And those are played in half bars, so there are basically just two bars to this song. I'm not gonna go into the solo parts or the parts that hold the G chord for a little bit longer. Uh, we're just gonna keep this nice and simple and as straightforward as possible, basically just to get you playing it. So we're just looking at the basic verses and choruses. So F, C, and now the second bar, A minor and G. The C, G and A minor chords are very common starter chords for beginner guitarists. However, it's the F chord that often proves a problem. It's this part here on the F chord where you've got to finger those top two strings, the top E and the B string there with that first finger. And holding it down sometimes often causes a problem. Sometimes you get that, but you know, you've got to be pressing down a little bit harder to get those sounding right. Watching the video clip and watching live versions, it seems that Tom Petty usually plays this particular shape of the, the chord, of the F chord, like so. So playing just those top four strings. However, what I would say to you if you're gonna play this is to use this version of the chord using all four fingers. So you've now got the third finger which was here on the D string at the fourth fret. You've now moved that across to the third fret of the A string. And you've got this fourth finger here tucked in nicely under there where the third finger once was. The reason I suggest using this particular fingering is because this finger here kind of anchors you onto the fretboard for when you change between this F chord and the C chord, as you can see. Uh, the finger here is still there, right? You're not moving it anywhere. So it's kind of helping you stay on the fretboard. The other thing you may notice is that with the F, the C and the A minor, this finger here, the first finger, is always on that first fret of the B string. So you've got the F chord, the C chord, and then the A minor chord. You see that finger is there at all times. The biggest movement is from this A minor to the G. Everything comes off to change from the A minor to the G. However, you may be able to just keep this finger here, just move it across a little bit, and then everything else can follow for the G chord. Of course, going back from the G, so the F is a little bit more difficult. However, again, this finger here will stay at the same fret, but will just shift over to the third fret of the A string, allowing you to put it on like that. Let's talk about the strumming, and in particular the strumming pattern, and it's one of the favorite things I love about this song. And basically, it's down, up, down, up. So you're gonna be going like this, like that. And the down strums are played on the 
beats one, two, three, four, while the up beats are played in between, so they're on the and beats. Okay, so far so good. Now there's the little bit though that is different and what we call off beat. So as I said, each bar is like this. You've got F and then a C, and the next one is A minor and G. Now normally you'd play F on beats one and two and, then the C goes three and four and. So one and two and, three and four and. That's what you'd expect. However, with this song, it's a little different. On the second beat, and in particular on the and part of the beat, this is where the chord changes in both bars. So the C chord and the G chord are both going to be played from the and or the upstroke of the second beat. So let me show you just the first bar. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So you hear the C changing on the AND beat. One and two and three and four and. And as I said, the same thing happens on the second bar. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and. So if we put it all together, what do we have? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and it's this kind of offbeat strumming that often causes problems for beginner guitarists. But this song is really great practice for that. It'll get your hand used to the idea that chords are not always changing on the beat. And it'll really get your strumming hand working. You're also gonna put a little accent on that change, a little bit of stress on that upbeat as well. Now, often when, you, when you're practicing songs, you may see a little kind of a chevron uh, symbol above the chord, and this means stress that particular strum. Okay, should we have a go at this? I think so. But before I do, there is another strumming pattern that Tom Petty uses, and in particularly when he plays live, and we'll get into that after we've had a bit of practice. And if you're getting value out of this, I'd love it if you smash that like button. Don't forget, tune up and let's go. And if you're not sure how to tune up, there's a link in the description for a little lesson. So let's get into this. One, two, three.
I mentioned earlier about another strumming pattern that Tom Petty uses. And one of the things I noticed that on the record, in, he plays it the way I've just showed you, but on, on live gigs, he does it slightly different. And there's a, there's a great live performance of it uh, from 2006, I think it is. Uh, absolutely gorgeous, you've got to see it. That I've left a link in the description for you. Check it out after this. Now the pattern that he does is just all downstrokes with his strumming hand. Everything else is the same, the chords are the same, the, the chord changes are the same, but it's this right hand that does it, something different. And the other thing is he seems to be playing just these three strings here, these ones here, the B, the G and the D. And so obviously you need a little bit more control to get you doing this. But it goes something like this. give that a try and if you need any extra help there's a link to a worksheet uh, in the description down below with the strumming patterns the chords and the lyrics to this song so that you can sing along while you're playing if you're not busy right now why don't you click this link to go to another video thanks for watching happy strumming Started out down the dirty road. Started out.